Over the past few months, Legacy Cinema has documented a variety of filmmakers through the progression of their projects, to see how they change as creators and people through the trials and tribulations their work comes with. This is the first day we are filming the final scene. So, yeah. uh, with college and stuff, you're always with mates. It, they don't tend to be as professional. And even this probably isn't as professional as possible. However, we've gone like fully into all that we can with, uh, with what we can. You know, we've done call sheets, we've hired actors, we've got people to make scores for it. We've got all sorts and we've really tried to be as professional as possible with this. Um, so yeah. I don't want to follow a guideline, I think. I feel like there was, there was always things on like, um, about like a certain step-by-step -step guides on how to do it, but really nobody has a way of doing it. So I'm just gonna go with the flow and do whatever I can and what I can, and but make sure that it's what I want as well, just cause that, you know, be as original as possible with everything, um, so yeah. You? Um, so I do background work and like walk on roles. Um, so I'm doing this film today for footage for a show reel so that I can progress in becoming an actress. Right. Um, and I've been a professional speaker and presenter for about 15 years. And then I probably wanted a new challenge and that's when I transitioned into acting a couple of years ago. So it's, I guess it's related in a way, but it's learning again, definitely. So there's definitely been a, a time of change in that in my career and, and in my life as well. I've always wanted to be an actress, but nobody in my family is in the industry. So I've kind of done everything on my own back and got myself to where I am and I'm just carrying on. Yeah, and for me, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm a bit of a late starter. I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't ever a calling that I had when I was younger. But um, in the last couple of years, I just thought, you know what? I, I fancy giving that a try. So, uh, so here we are. You got. You got to try new things, haven't you? And push yourself and stretch yourself a little bit. We've been filming a lot of dining room scenes since it's based around a little family reunion. But at New Year's, so we base it around 2023, so the beginning of 2023. It's about a family that don't really like each other. Each character has their, definitely their own personality and their traits. And it's more about showing them the clash of it all. And for this project, the brief is change. So we thought to include the change, it would be that towards the end of the actual short film, which is supposed to be 10 minutes long, will be the audience seeing the family members finally kind of getting along so like the dance scene which we filmed yesterday that was really fun we've set up a lot of decorations and filming's filming's gone really well yeah <laughs> sorry one sec the script I can't to get deeper insight into the changes seen within the creative industry, we spoke to two contacts that have experienced the more professional world of filmmaking and the changes required in order to meet its expectations. So obviously I've adapted to a new set of people working at uni, so that's been good. Just working with loads of more people because it's good to know lots of people within this course. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And obviously a new set of equipment because at uni we do loads more higher equipment, which is good. So when I first left, I started doing videography for Wasserman Professional Boxing with like uh, Tyson Fury and well, he's the first one that came to mind. Uh, then I progressed into doing Misfits, Misfits Boxing, uh, KSI's Boxing Company. So I started doing that, uh, which led me on to making contacts with the Sidemen. And now I'm a videographer for the Sidemen. Definitely try out lots of different stuff to do with film because obviously a lot of people don't know what they actually want to do because there's obviously loads of things. But definitely try everything. See what you like and just get to know a lot of people because it's good to know a lot of people in this industry. So I think after college, I sort of had the assumption that everything would have been quite small because when we started, we were pretty small groups in college and it was never that like big or anything. It was quite tight knit. And then I guess working more professionally, crews ridiculously big, they operate like 20 times bigger if not more, working with different companies, so yeah. I think the main jump was just having to work with so many different people that I never like even heard of the job roles for, and then having to adapt to work with them all. Uh, be more open, be more, just don't be scared. You have to take advantage of things when they present themselves, it, it's not just you're not being rude if you do. 
you just have to take it. If you don't, you'll miss out on so much. So yeah, I would have said to myself, just take every opportunity that was presented to me because I wouldn't be where I am if I hadn't taken them to start with. With this newfound knowledge of the creative industry, we return to our indie filmmakers on their final days of shooting to see how their work has progressed as well as their plans and hopes moving forward. This is the final day of shooting. We're, um, <laughs> we're, we're only here for like half an hour. We're getting one last shot. It was meant to be last week, but someone didn't wake up in time. <laughs> well, so, <laughs> so we're here uh, in college. We're filming a flashback classroom scene. Um, on with it, we're now using a Sony camcorder instead of the Black Magics because it's like a flashback. It, you'll see it when you watch it. Um, so yeah, hopefully it doesn't go too wrong with the tapes because the tapes are confusing, but we'll work it out. So. The director had a good vision as well of what he wanted to do, and uh, everything went pretty smooth. So. Uh, we just finished filming. We filmed two scenes today on the last day. Uh, it was the last dining room scene and the kitchen scene where the character's on the phone to the daughter. And uh, yeah, filming went really well this past four days. And um, yeah, just on to the edit now, really. Yeah. Over the course of this journey, we've watched these young creators grow as they step close to the future they all wish to have. Change is something every human being on this planet goes through. And the change you see before you at this very moment is one of life's beauties. Through this journey, we've seen our creators at their lowest and their highest, slowly changing as the people and creators as a whole. Each and every working cog of their journeys has brought them close to the people they wish to change into, and has let them take one step closer to changing the world with their talents. I started off very timid, I'll be honest. Um, I didn't really talk to anyone. It was a bit sad. <laughs> uh, and then recently, I'm just like, I'm, I'm so much more open. I could say like social butterfly, but let's be honest, not really. Um, I'm much more like adapting to speaking to different people, new people. Even like just during college, I struggled to, to speak to close friends and stuff. So yeah, just speaking to different people much more openly and being adaptive, I guess. That's a wrap. Thank you, everyone. Hey! That's a wrap. you're looking at something beautiful or pieces of art like you've just seen unfold before you always remember to look deeper